Hey, everybody. Damn it, Paul. Stealing my lines. This game is by Michael Argelfump Gray. Uh, if you know Argelfump, he plays like Nancy Drew games. And by Mr. Paul Franzen, who has done such cool games as The Stranger Comes Calling. I love that game. And the awesome cat president. So without further ado or further poo, Francie Drew in the mystery of the missing mother-in-law. That sounds like a blessing to me. This dress looks perfect for the wedding tomorrow, doesn't it? This is our heroine. I don't mean to do drugs, uh, Francie. This wedding dress looks beautiful on me. Well, it's not a wedding dress, but it's a dress for a wedding. You know what I mean? Haha. <laughs> it's, you know, I like to have it curved in the top um, for my boobs and down bottom for my fat rolls. I figure the boys need some action up top and down bottom. Don't you think so, Katie? Oh, my guess. Katie's like, you know, this would be like Nancy Drew's psychic. Oh, I can't think of her name. I should know from watching Gamer Pixie LPs. Katie, is there something wrong? Are you not paying attention to me? Because that seems like that'd be pretty wrong. Are you sure it's a good idea for you to be a bridesmaid? Of course it is. This is going to be fun. All the boys are going to be looking at me. And maybe I'm going to kiss the groom. I think the well, bride does it. Whatever, Katie. It's just that, you know. What? Yeah, what, Katie? Just spit it out. Well, bad things tend to happen when you're around. Oh my fucking god! I have no idea what you're talking about. How dare you say that about me, Katie? Just because that one time you spilled wine on your grandma's carpet? That was you that spilled it. No, it was pretty much you. No, it was you and you told her you were having your period. Well, I'm gonna have my period all over your face if you don't shut up. Uh, what, what? Really, I, you don't remember that mystery at the park last week and how it got weird? Or the time I was kidnapped by a tea cup poodle enthusiast? Oh my god, the poodles! Um. <laughs> so far I'm playing Francie kind of like a jerk. Sorry to Argo Fump if you didn't write her that way. It's not my fault you're scared of poodles. Don't be a bitch. Haha, <laughs> they're dogs. I made a dog joke. You look kind of like a dog. I'm kidding! You're ugly, though. I mean, it's not my fault you're scared of poodles. What? How could you? How could anyone not be terrified by poodles? Yeah, I pooped myself a little bit, too, girl. They're so creepy with their sharp teeth and the tiny ears. What are they going to do, hear you? I told you like a hundred times already. I don't care. I mean, wait, what? The poodle lady wasn't trying to kidnap you. Who would want you? Ew, yuck. She just wanted you to watch one of her dogs for a moment. She figured you were one of those, you know, ugly dog sitter girls who can't get a boyfriend. Spot on. A likely story! Anyway, maybe you should, uh, be used to me stopping crimes by now. I'm like a pretty good detective and shit. I'm like the best detective. I'm like that guy, Hercule Holmes. Sherlock Holmes? No, you're not that guy. But, but... Look, I don't want to hear about your big butt. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at the wedding. I, Francie Drew, am going to be there. Ah, uh, and if it does, you can be like the backup bridesmaid, okay? But don't let anybody know. Okay! Oh, God, she's got wedding fever. No! I wish I could make women look happy like that. What? And so goes the days of our lives. The water's like, oh, the sun burns. My cock. Clarinda Francie, thank God you're here. I'm sorry I'm late. Are you a man or a woman? That's our friend. Are you man woman of legend foretold? I know you wanted the bridesmaids to arrive earlier. But my hair is, like, pretty important, and I perm my pubes. Ha, ah, perm me pubes. It's the wave of the future. Forget the bridesmaid stuff. I need you as a detective. What? I knew it's something bad was going to happen. Shut up, Katie. Katie, sh the adults are talking here? Look, man, woman, I do my best, Clorinda. What's wrong? My mom's been kidnapped. What? 
Fancy Drew. Drew and the mystery of the missing mother-in-law. Sorry, voice actress, for talking over you. The missing, the mother-in-law is missing. I bet the groom did it. Way to jump to conclusions, sexist Katie. I was almost starting to like you. No way. My husband, Groom, Groom Hilda is a wonderful man. I think you're not a wonderful man. What? Nothing? I mean, sure, um, he's been really annoyed at how mom is taking control of the wedding. Women, am I right? Huh? Huh, awkward. Awkward. <laughs> but he'd never go so far as to kidnap her. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You know what I'd like to do is give a man some head. Oh, but not you, man woman. My name's Clorinda. All right, man woman. Let's do detectiving now. What makes you think she's been kidnapped? That's what I just said. Oh, I love the little magnifying glass down there. The fact she's missing for one. She would never leave me on my wedding day. I need my mama. Mama! Mama! That doesn't prove she's been kidnapped. She's probably not even a kid. Yeah, maybe she got lost or something. Shut up, Katie. That's not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Just after she disappeared, I found me this. The ransom note, or note. I am so happy your wedding day is finally here. I wish you all the happiness my own love could. I see. This is mysterious. Apparently your mom is very dumb. I don't get it. Explain it to me. Oh, apparently you didn't learn how to read yet, Katie? Don't you see it? There is something wrong with... The spelling. And the end of the note. The spelling! She spelled happiness and finally wrong! That's because my mom is horrible at spelling. She's a giant dummy head. Oops, um, let me guess again. I didn't know she was ignorant. Well, uh, let's check the note again. Uh, lettering is... Wait... The capitals, H, E, L, she's in hell. O, P, help, ma, ma. Wait, what's so strange about the lettering? Look at the capitals. The lettering. See how she capitalized certain letters? It's a secret message. Yeah, like help, help me. Katie, settle down. We talked before about using your inside voice. Help me! Oh my god, you're right. My mom is in danger. Mama! What are we gonna do? The wedding's in an hour. Oh, it's nice you shaved your pits this time. What? Nothing? Don't worry, Clorinda. Francie Drew, and that's me, is officially on the case. What was this Valentine's Day back here? Come on, Francie Drew, we can do it! Let's solve the case and stuff. Now let's see, I should start my investigation by looking for cute boys? Uh, let's talk to Clorinda. Clorinda, I've got a few questions for you. Did you kidnap your own mom? I mean, wait, uh, how are you like feeling? Um, emotions. Awful, the wedding's been difficult enough as it is. And now this happens, my mama. Yeah, has there been other problems with the wedding? I mean, wait, have there been? Other than the fact you look like a man-woman? Yes, my maid of honor came down with food poisoning this morning. Francie Drew, you didn't do this to get all the attention, did you? And now she can't make the ceremony. Ooh, y'all got promoted. There was a shipping error, so one of the box of decorations never got delivered. <laughs> and we can't use the parking lot because somebody blocked it off. Uh, tell me about it. We had a park lot two blocks away. It's all right. I rode Katie. She's kind of like a mule. It's not so bad. Maybe the wedding's cursed. I don't believe in curses. I think you two are just having bad luck. Wh what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Either way, we only got an hour before the wedding starts. If there's even going to be a wedding. Have you told anybody else about what happened, Mad Woman Clorinda? No, I just discovered Mom's dis disappearance a few minutes ago. I doubt there's anyone to tell, really. I am a person? Yeah, so am I, Clorinda. Come on. Nobody's here for, for me besides George and the priest. Whoa, you guys having a naughty three-way, because that is not appropriate. The priest? 
Father Andrew, you like him, he really knows this stuff. Are we gonna have a Bible trivia quiz? Francie knows her stuff too! She's gonna solve this mystery before I'm, you know it! Get out of my vagina, Katie! Okay, I'm doing it already! Do you have any suspects? Like a crazy ex-boyfriend or something? Hmm. Thinking, hmm. Might be pooping, hmm. The only guy I can think of is Paul. What? I did not take your mom, especially if she looks like you. I did not take your, your mom, but he moved to Ohio like two years ago. Go Buckeyes. Nobody's heard from him since. Well, I don't know. That makes him like unlikely. Do we have any other suspects? I'm sorry, but I can't think of anyone who'd want to kidnap my mother. If she looks like you, I can see why. What? Don't worry. She doesn't have any enemies. And I don't know who would want to ruin our wedding. Well, if you think of any suspects, like, let me know or something, alright? Oh, okay. You know what? It's possible that this is all a misunderstanding. Maybe your mom thought I have an ugly man-woman child, and I am embarrassed and don't want to go to her wedding. <laughs> see? It's a misunderstanding. Is it? Maybe your mom got an urgent phone call, and she just had to, like, re leave the room. Did you check the other rooms? There are no signs of a struggle, so it's unlikely someone took her by force. But how do you explain the note? Uh, maybe it was, like, a prank or something? Or maybe her secret message wasn't help me. It was help Melvin with the catering. Oh, my God. Katie, you are not helping. If her mom is dead in a ditch, that is not going to make her feel any better. And where the hell is Melvin? Who is Melvin? She just didn't have enough room for the whole thing. That's what I said to my boyfriend. Oh, you're horrible, Nick Francie Drew. My boyfriend's imaginary, though. That's possible, right, though? That she have enough room? Uh, yeah, right. Whatever, Katie. Katie talks a lot. Clorinda, just ignore her. That's what I do. I hope Mom's okay, but still, I'd like you to find her, please. Yeah, of course I will or something. I'm your bridesmaid, after all. It's my job. Hmm, I can't think of anything else to ask her. Next time, I should be... Wait, next I'm gonna search the room. Let's see if there are any clues in the room. It's like Blue's Clues. Besides that note, there's a magnifying glass or a mirror. Good idea, I'll, I'll search the left area. You girls get the right. Oh, I thought she fell down. I was like, oh God, she fell down the stairs. As they rummage through things. Katie's got her serious rummaging face on. I found something! Good job, like, what is it? I think it's a speech for the wedding reception. Oh. Wow, there's some embarrassing stuff in here. That's pretty common. Most wedding speeches contain jokes, stories, like maybe the love. Ha <laughs> ha! That's terrible. You're horrible, Francie. No, I mean, these are like really embarrassing stories. There's a thing about the time Clorinda's purple pajamas. Oh, give me that. Oh, this is horrible. Why would my mom write about that? Wait, your mom was going to embarrass you at your own wedding with horrible stories from when you were young? I want to go to this wedding. I don't think this is going to solve us, help us solve the mystery at all. What should my next step be? Let's go elsewhere. I think I gotta go, like, elsewhere, Clorinda, the man, woman, bride, girl. Goodbye. Right, you should, uh, probably talk to George. He's in the next room. He's in the groom's room. Yeah, that's, like, where I'm headed or something. Goodbye. Katie, you stay here and look out for Clorinda. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Sure thing, Francie. Oh, boy. I gotta talk to the boys. Hello, you're a boy. Uh, hi there, I remember you. You're the new bridesmaid, right? Whoa, whoa, what the hell, bro? Checking out one of her... Checking out her boob lumps. Come on, dude. You're getting married here. Right, I'm Francie Drew. I'm George. I'm the one getting married, but you already knew that, didn't you? My eyes... My boobs are down here. Continue to stare. Uh, what brings you over here, fine boob lady? It's about Clorinda's mom. Let me guess. She's making more last-minute changes to the wedding reception. 
Huh, I don't know why she had to go with Tigger Thong, because nobody's even gonna see that. I don't even like a thong. It's riding up my butthole. It's weird. I don't know if I like it. Huh, I love Clorinda, but her mom's insufferable. If only someone would kidnap her. Uh, it'd make everything a lot easier if she'd just disappear! Actually, Clorinda's mother has... Uh, let's, let's see if we can... We can lure him into a trap. Actually, Corinda's mother has left the church? Well, thank goodness, we finally catch a break. Hallelujah! She disappeared, leaving it behind a note that says, Help me! Oh dear, that's not good. I bet it was hard to read the note. She can barely write. I can't believe we let her write the invitations. It was like, Herma and Marma gratefully invite you to the wedding of Mar and Morge. That explained everybody that Merge meant George. It was embarrassing. And I believe that you just said your life would be easier if she disappeared. Oh, what was she did? Well, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I'm not best friends with Corinda's mom, but I would never kidnap her. Sometimes I'd think about her in the shower, mostly because then she'd be quiet. Oh, damn it. Do you have any proof that I thought of her in the shower? No, that you didn't did, did disappear anything. Oh, I mean, uh, wait, who died to meet you, chief of police? The chief of police, dun dun dun. I don't appreciate a being accused of felonies on my wedding day. What about Mr. Meaners? I'll have you know that I spent the last half hour trying to decode these ridiculous seating notes. Seating notes? Yeah, for the wedding reception. Florinda's mom decided that she didn't like our seating chart. George, I feel for you. I, I've had... I, I have some friends who are getting married, and there's a certain mother-in-law that is doing the same thing to them. This is why I'm going to be single forever! Five minutes from now, I'll be like, oh, I'm unhappily married now. <laughs> she made up a list of demands and threw them at us last night. Is that what a terrorist does? Yeah, see if you can uh, figure out where she wants us to put everyone. I'm giving up. Oh, my God. Oh, this is too complicated. I can't solve mysteries. Only women go in the top row. The bridal party of Clorinda, George, Francie, and Ralph goes in the middle table. Clorinda and your father are sitting at the table directly next to you, and that is final. Oh man, they can't even sit with their friends! Uncle Steve hates Aunt Helen, so he has to sit at the rightmost table as far away from her as possible. His son Mike can sit with them. Try to separate your cousins, or else they get drunk and chaos will ensue. I don't care if you think it's stupid, the people on each side of the table must be seated alphabetically as traditional. Darlene needs to be seated next to her friend Violet for emotional support. Uh, Clorinda's bride maid insists on bringing her annoying friend Katie. Hey, that's Francie Drew's friend. Have her sit next to Francie, okay? No one else can stand her. I can't believe Amy is still single. Let's put her across from mm, Craig. Uh, this looks like complicated stuff. Ah, uh, tell me about it. Anyway, this is your problem now. Figure out where everybody goes, then I'll talk to you. Hmm... Oh my god, no! Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, can I just put the cousins next to each other? Uh, it's... Only women go in the top row. Alright. Uh, Clorinda, George, Francie, and Ralph are in the middle table. So, Francie, Ralph, where's, where's Clorinda? Clorinda, where are you? Where the fuck is she? Oh, the derp. Alright, they go in the middle table. Uh, Darlene and Violet need to sit next to each other. So we got that going on. So we gotta put, uh, where's, where's Fruity, Fruity Poop Pants? Oh, wait, Francie's gotta sit next to... Francie's supposed to sit next to Katie. How's that gonna work out? Um, Amy's still single. Let's put her across from Craig. So we're gonna get Amy hooked up. Craig's not your cousin, is it? Because that's not what I'm trying to... Oh, not Uncle Joe. <laughs> where's, where's Craig? Uh, Amy and Craig. Uh, let's see. Grandpa Joe and Grandma Eloise are married, so they should be sitting across from each other. The same goes for Uncle Joe and Aunt Mary. Oh, I gotta do this alphabetical too? Uncle Joe. Where the fuck's Aunt Mary? Uh, Grandpa. 
and Grandma. Is there anybody else I'm missing? Uncle Steve hates Aunt Helen, so he has to sit at the rightmost table as far away from her as possible. So that would imply that Aunt Helen sits over here. His son Mike can sit with him, but I put that Grandpa right there. Shit. But I put Grandpa there. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know. I'll be back in a moment when I figured this out. All right, I don't know if this is right or not, but we're going to check the answer. Is this it? No, that breaks one of the rules. Which one? There are like 10 different fucking rules. And I'm pretty sure you have to have, uh, you have the first table wrong. And the second table. And the fourth table. And the fifth. Oh, my. I know this stuff. Just keep trying. You'll get it eventually. So the only table we have right is the middle table. Well, let's see if this works. Done. Oh, I did it. I did it. Took me a while. You figured it out? Yes. You, I see why you're frustrated about your mother-in-law. Those were ridiculous instructions. Uh, great. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry for sniping at you before. I'm a, I'm a little stressed out uh, today. Uh, what do you want to talk to me about? Uh, let's talk about Clorinda, your fiance. What do you think of Clorinda? I think she's kind of a man-woman. Are you into that? Uh, I love her, obviously. That's why I'm going to marry her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. So there are, like, no problems between the two of you? Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, I can't stand the way she always leaves huge messes in the kitchen. Ah! But I can, I can live with it. I, I can live with it. Love is a way of overcoming all problems, you know? No. <laughs> Even if one of those problems is the controlling mother-in-law? Uh, stop trying to accuse me of kidnapping! I am so innocent! That remains to be seen. Tell me about yourself, George. Is there anything important I should know? Besides the fact you keep looking at my boobs? You like them? Uh, I'm getting married today. Yeah, uh, George. <laughs> Francie Drew is a bridesmaid. She kind of picked that up. Besides that, I mean, George. Uh-huh. You haven't been married, have you? No, I haven't. Then you don't understand. You don't even have an idea. I hate when people get like that in life. You wouldn't understand. Try explaining it to me, bitch. You think he stares at her boobs because his wife, Clorinda, doesn't have any? Boobs. The milk of life comes from boobs. You're weirding me out, George. Tell me more. Uh, we've been wedding, uh, planning this wedding for nine months now. It's like a wedding, baby. What? Yeah, it's completely taken over my life. Uh, I can barely focus on anything else at this point. That sounds like, like it's going to be a letdown. Anything you plan for nine months ahead of time, it's going to have to have a very high threshold of success to not be a letdown. So you're saying the wedding's a little overwhelming? Absolutely. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm hiding it well, though. What sort of relationship do you have with Clorinda's mother? I didn't do anything with her! What? Wait, what? Uh, I have a tense one! She's always on my ass about stuff! She's on my ass more than my mom is! I'm like, oh my god, I need to grow a new ass to deal with all the mud my ass you're on! You're not a writer, are you? How did you know? Uh, she's just so crazy and controlling, especially with the wedding and everything. I'm my own man! I'm my own man! My own man. What do you mean? This story is fascinating. Uh, she's been telling us what we can and can't do for months now. Why don't you tell her to go suck a dick? Was that a little harsh? Was that a little harsh? <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm single. <laughs> Anyone out there is like, ooh, I don't like to date Super Bowl. Your mom can suck a dick. My dick. Please, I'm lonely. Yeah, I don't think I want to date him anymore. He's unstable. Shut up. And uh, did you know she took 10 people off the invitation list uh, without telling us about it? It's your wedding, George. Do something about it. Make your wife do something about it. It's her family. Where does a man... Uh, she even fired one of Clarinda's bridesmaids last week. Is that why the bridesmaid is gone? What? I didn't hear about that. Oh my god, your mouth is huge. That's probably not a very good compliment to tell a lady when you're trying to pick her up. What a big mouth you have. All the bigger for you to eat sausages with. And then they walk away. Oops. 
Uh, pretend you didn't hear that. Clorinda asked me not to tell anyone. Clorinda's a pretty shitty friend if she's letting her mom tell her who can and cannot be her bridesmaids. Well, that explains why I was made a bridesmaid without much warning. Oh my god, I can't believe I was second choice. Disgusting. Uh, let's talk about the kidnapping. Like I said earlier, Clorinda's mom was like kidnapped and stuff. I'm trying to figure out who did it. Uh, I think you'll find this mystery easier than most. What do you mean? All well, the doors to the church are locked. Nobody can get in and out. Church, are you insane? <laughs> We're all getting married. No one gets out. Uh, nine months I had to prepare for this. That means the kidnapper is still here. Wait, wait, that's not true. When Katie and I arrived, the front door was unlocked. And it... Wait, wouldn't her, his, the mom still be here then? Ah, uh, really? Wait, that's strange. The door should be locked. Maybe you should ask Pastor Andrew about that. Pastor Andrew was probably like, we can't lock parishioners in here. Still, I want to know. Francie! Francie! Katie, what are you doing here? I didn't have a chance to search the room. I wanted to search his boy drawers. Somebody delivered a note to the bride's room! Oh my god, it's no! You weren't probably one of those kids that passed notes much in school, were you, Katie? Because if you were, I bet the teacher figured it out. What? Let me see. If you want to see Carla again, stop the wedding! Oh no, that's like awful and stuff. Uh. And what is it, a threat? Looks like it. Maybe George just got cold feet and he kidnapped his mother-in-law because he's a pussy and doesn't know how to say no. I like this little art style of the torn paper. Clara? Carla? Whatever. That's like Clorinda's, Clarissa's, Clorinda's mother, I'm guessing. You're a great friend, Francie. You're the girl detective. You don't even know the name of your friend. Your friend's mom. Yeah, Carla Gomez. That's what Clorinda said. Keep examining the note. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, that note is spelled correctly, whereas the previous note had many grammatical errors. Interesting. Well, at least there's one good thing about this. What? This clears me of all suspicion. It does not, my friend. It does not. After all, I couldn't have delivered that, that note. I've been here talking to you this whole time. <laughs> oh, more boobs. Huh? Well, that's true. What do we do now? Do we stop the wedding? No, I'm not stopping my effing wedding because of some kidnapper. This is my happiest day of my life and I'm going to get it done with and over with. This wedding will go on with or without Clorinda's mother. I'm not sure that's a smart idea. It is not your wedding or place to talk, Haiti. Yeah, I am. It's not like you're marrying that man woman who I love. Anyway, um, I should be preparing or something. Is there anything else you want to say to me before you go? Uh, is there anything else to talk about? No, we're gonna search the room. Can I, like, search your pants? I mean, the room? I wasn't thinking of your wiener much. Uh, wait, what? Why would you want to search the room? To look for clues, of course. Boy clues. Uh, sorry, detective. There's nothing interesting here besides the priest's old ID. Old ID? Yeah, it says he was going to St. Uh, St. Andrew's Seminary three years ago. So he was made a priest only recently? Interesting. Uh, looks like it. Thank you for all your help. Anything for one of Clorinda's bridesmaids, especially one with boobs. George, you're odd. George seems determined not to stop the wedding. He's gonna get married. It's a beautiful time when the man and the lady makes love. I think you're thinking of the honeymoon? On the altar of sex. <sighs> Katie, you're weird. I can't help but feel like he's hiding something, though. You think a boy will ever like me? No. Do you think he's the kidnapper? Maybe. We shouldn't rule out anything at this point. What do you want to do now? 
If George is right about the locked doors, nobody was here except him. Clorinda, Clorinda's mom, and the priest? I think our next step is talk to that priest. That makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. You can see the gears slowly turning in her head. That's why Francie Drew looked all concerned. You're the priest, Father Andrew, correct? I prefer Pastor Andrew, but Father Andrew is fine. It's not like your ki my kids. Ho, ho, who are you? I'm Fancy Drew, and this is my dumb friend, Katie. Hi! I want to ask you a few questions about Clarinda, Clarinda's mom. Her name's Clarinda. I know my friend's name, all right? Who dares it about the argument? No, this is about Clarinda's mother. She disappeared without telling anyone where she went? Who oh dear, that's not good. Are you looking at the boobs too, Fred? No, I am looking at the fat rolls. So fatty delicious. I think she's been kidnapped. Um, should you call the cops then, girl? I doubt that. She probably had an errand or two to run. Did you, was she annoying you, father? Were you like, get the fuck out, girl? I'm sure she'll return before the wedding. What makes you, like, say that? Did God tell you? Did he talk through the cross? Was it the cross phone? Through experience, I've done weddings for the past five years. That is a bullshit lie, sir. We know you were attending seminary no less than three years ago. Let's say this isn't the first time someone's gotten cold feet. I tell them to put on socks, but they don't. Usually that only applies to the bride or the groom. Still, uh, can I like talk to you for a second? Normally I'd say yes, but I'm a little busy right now with this water cooler thing. Very busy. Someone gave me a list of rules for the songs we're doing at the wedding. Oh no, we gotta solve that too. It's gonna be the mom. Clarinda's mom strikes again. Do not play Celebrate Good Times. That is the stupidest song that is played at almost every wedding. Celebrate Good Times, come on. I'm going to hit you in the head with a hammer. Stupid song. I don't want to hear it again. Can we sing the Celebrate Good Times and help you figure out what songs are needed? Oh my God, I hope Celebrate Good Times is there because I'm going to be celebrating the best times. Oh, you can. It would be a big help if you help me with the songs. And the celebrating. Uh, this looks simple enough. Uh, it does look simple. Yeah, I bet it can help you. We start with the wind in March. Here come the bride. Gonna get the babies inside. Then songs that start with A. A love in your body can never be wrong. Get the power of love by Huey B Buis in the news. Forever and always. Then with this ring, I wear D girl. And then each song that starts with a W like Weezer Times. And then Ave Maria's. Gee, thanks, Katie. We don't even need to play them. You could just sing them. Oh, do you really think I'm that good? I love you, Francie Drew. All right, Avi Maria is last. The wedding march is first. Uh, Marty McFly is going to come in. Power of love. Uh, with this ring, I the wed. The fuck was the song list? The song starting with A come in the second half. Uh, Power of love comes after forever and always. Uh, each half has one song that starts with W. Wedding march with this. Yeah, we're done. That's not the right answer, Francie. Try again. If you know the answer, why don't you just tell me, Katie? Wait, what did I get wrong? The wedding march is first. Ave Maria's. Shut up. Fifth. Apparently, I know number is good enough. That's not right, Francie. Try again. Ugh. Alright, Wedding March comes first. Songs starting with A come in the second half. That's in the second half. They're both in the second half. Ave Maria's fifth. Um, Power of Love comes after Forever and Always. 
With the this ring, I the wed is too short to be the finale. Oh. Ah. Oh. Shit. Can I switch these? Do you have it? That's not your voice. Hey, do you have it? Yeah, I got it right here. I'm DJ Mix. Master Mix a lot. Hey, perfect. Thank you so much, creepy friend of Francie Drew. So, what did you want to talk about? The argument. You mentioned like they had some argument. I wouldn't think ugly people arguing in the church would stand out. Oh, yes. Not long ago, I heard. You're not supposed to gossip, sir. Angry shouting coming from the bride's room. It sounded like Carla's voice. Carla. Carla. Fatty folds. I mean, Carla. Like, what did she say and stuff? It was rather harsh. Something along the lines of... I'm paying for this wedding, so you better do what I say or else. Who is she fighting with? I couldn't hear. I bet she was fighting with her own daughter, making her daughter's wedding day horrible. She's not a nice mom. You couldn't hear? Why couldn't he? Why not? I didn't hear. I should say, as soon as I heard her yelling, I walked away from the area post-haste. It's rude to overhear people's arguments, you know. Well, apparently, after you've heard the first half, it is. Darn, I was hoping he could tell us who the kidnapper is. Marriage. Marriage. You've been doing marriages for a long time, right? Do they always have this many problems? Hey, well, problems are to be expected. No marriage goes perfectly, you understand? But I have to admit, this wedding is having more problems than most. Could it be haunted? Sabotage? Beastie Boys? Intergalactic Planetary? Planetary Intergalactic? Would you please stop, Katie? Brass Monkey? Oh, I doubt it's Brass Monkey. And anyway, who would want to sabotage the wedding? It could be a suspect no one is considered yet, like the father-in-law! Katie, let's not make this mystery any more complicated than it needs to be, all right? Shut up. Let us ask about locking the church. Did you lock the church this morning? Because it was unlocked when we got here and stuff. Hey, I locked the door for the bridal party when I arrived. Oh, <laughs> locked the ladies in, I say. And then I unlocked the door to let the groom in. Other than that, the door should still be locked. What if somebody opened the doors from the inside? Oh, in that case, anyone could get inside. I suppose I should go check the doors now. The guests will arrive soon. Is there anything else you wanted from me? Uh, we're going to search this room. Can we search for clues in this room? I might steal his Jesus phone. Don't tell him. Jesus will know. Hey, why? There's nothing in here. It doesn't hurt to try. Is anything missing or... Wait, uh, what's that on the counter there? Um, is that a leash for a cat? It looks like a bracelet! I've never seen a bracelet before! What could that be? Not mine! Oh, well, whoops, that's mine! Damn it, Katie. Yours? Yeah, I must have dropped it just now. Katie, you're acting very suspicious. Thanks for finding it! Are you ruining this marriage because you're in love with George? Or Clorinda? Or Carla? You're welcome, my weird friend. Thanks for answering all my questions, Father. You're not my real daddy, though. Oh, I hear that all the time. It was my pleasure, lovely fatty folds. I'm digging this game. Hey, Francie! Francie! I'm right here. I can hear you. Francie! I can hear you. Hey, Francie! Do you think the church doors were opened by a ghost? 
Or like when the kidnapper took Clorinda's mom outside? That's like a possibility. Not the ghost thing. That was stupid. But the other thing, maybe. Hmm. What if she's just outside cooling off because she's mad? I've got it. You do? You figured out who the kidnapper is? If my hunch is correct, yes. Yes, I did. Well, this is the end. Are we going to be able to figure out who the kidnapper was, if there even was one? Quick, get everybody together in the prize room. How good? I'm good at getting people together. We've got a mystery to solve. You do it, Francie Drew. A picture. Hey, with those fat folds must get closer. She's looking kind of at your eyes, more your nose. He's still, well, he's looking deeper. You are right about the fat folds, Fowler. No, oh, I mean, okay, I'm here. You know it's bad luck for a groom to see his bride before the wedding night, right? I don't know which is the groom. What? I mean, you're both lovely grooms. I mean, I mean, a lovely bride and groom. Mm -hmm. This is slightly more important, though, than your stupid superstition. Are you saying that you solved the mystery? Yes. Yes, I have, Clar friend Inda. Oh, that's a relief. Like when I get gas. Bad news, Francie. The guests are starting to arrive. If you've got a plan, you better do it quickly. Don't worry. This will not take long. As you all know, Clarinda's mother was kidnapped not too long ago. Mm-hmm. I'm proud to say I figured out who the kidnapper's identity is. And even if I'm guessing randomly, I got like three chances to solve the mystery. Still, I should save my game here just in case. Alright. Okay, are we ready? We are ready, Francie Drew. Alright, so what do we know? We know Katie left a bracelet there. But that's all we know. We know he is lying. He's claiming that he's done... Weddings for five years, but he only got out of seminary three years ago. I think Clorinda is lying about being a woman. And George? He doesn't like her. I, Clorinda would have a reason, too, if she argued with her mom. So let us... I, I think it might be Clorinda. We're going to accuse the father, though, because we know he lied about something. And here's why. You hate weddings because you're single. You can't perform weddings. You're the only one who had access to the room. You're going to... You are going to marry the mother-in-law? Um, okay. These are the reasons why. Clorinda, she threatened not to pay for the wedding. You don't want to get married. She's going to tell embarrassing stories about you. She isn't your real mom. Some of that might be true. Oh, I gotta pick which one for these people. You're secretly in love with your mother-in-law? That's hot. I mean, what? Maybe she threatened not to pay for the wedding there? Because we don't know who she was yelling at. We can say it was Katie because she's jealous? Was bored? Did out of spite? She has a misguided sense of social equality? I don't think this is right, but let's, let's try and call the father on he can't perform weddings. I don't think that's really strong. We got enough guesses. It was you. Pastor Andrews, the kidnapper. Me? Why would I kidnap a mother-in-law? You can't perform weddings, can you? What? Of course I can! No, you can't. You're not licensed. Why well, bet you're not even a real priest? Why would you say that? Because you told me you've been doing weddings for five years. But according to your ID card, you've only been a priest for two years! Hi! 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 I get it! Pastor Andrew is a fake! It's... it's true, it's true. I'm not a real priest. These aren't even my clothes, it's just a Halloween costume! What? Wow, you are weird, dude. I, uh, I had to kidnap Carla because she figured it out. Did she like look at the back and see like the little zipper or ties for your costume? But what about the doors? Oh, I only pretended to lock and unlock the doors. I don't even have keys. How did you get in here? Now for the million dollar question. Where is Clorinda's mother? No, oh, I knocked her out and hid her in the closet. Next time, pay the money to get a real priest. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I never meant for this to happen. How do you, what do you mean you never meant for this to happen? How do you knock somebody out, drag them into a closet, shut the door, lie about it, and be like, oops, it was an accident? Nah. I'll go get my mother. George, you call the police. We all do. Oh, booms. What does this mean for the wedding? I guess the wedding will have to be canceled. Since we don't have anyone to perform it. No! No! Sad ending! I did it! I solved the mystery! Damn it, Andrew! That wasn't a bad ending, though. So you think they eventually got married? <laughs> Poor George. No matter what, he would have got hadn't picked more. <laughs> we caught the culprit, but sadly the wedding will not take place. Uh, well, I hope they have a happy life. I have a feeling they're not going to. George is going to resent his mother-in-law for the rest of his life. <laughs> Poor guy. I like how Andrew's like, no, it's just a Halloween costume, friend. Well, everybody, that was Francie Drew in the mystery of the missing mother-in-law. She really was kidnapped. We did find her. If you'd like to play this game yourself, uh, there, there should be a link in the description. I think it's a buck fifty if you want to get the game and check out the other indies. I had a pretty good time with this. I hope you did too. His last, Andrew's last words are like, mmm, fatty fold. <laughs> well, everybody, thanks for hanging out. And I hope if you ever get married, it goes a lot better than this did. Take it easy, everybody.